Hello, welcome to Jeff Python world where we dive into the cryptographic world behind Bitcoin wallet generation. This is hacking method of finding Bitcoin wallet private key of legacy wallet address. How Bitcoin private key works. Bitcoin wallets are generated using elliptic curve cryptography, specifically the SECP 256K1 curve. A private key is just a randomly generated 256-bit number, and Python can handle this math easily. From the private key, we calculate a public key using point multiplication on the curve. Then, we apply hashing functions like SHA-256 and RIPEMD-160 to create the wallet address. Legacy Bitcoin addresses, starting with, 1, follow this exact method, and that's what we explore using Python. Let we dive into this. Today, we'll explore how Python can be used to calculate and generate legacy Bitcoin addresses. Bitcoin uses a system called elliptic curve cryptography, specifically the SECP 256K1 curve. A wallet starts with a private key, which is just a large, randomly chosen 256-bit number. Using elliptic curve math, we derive a public key from this private key through point multiplication. Next, we hash the public key using SHA-256, followed by RIPEMD-160, to get the public key hash. We then add a version byte, and compute a checksum using double SHA-256 for error checking. Finally, we encode the result in base 58, and that gives us the familiar legacy address starting with 1. This process is entirely mathematical and deterministic, no guesswork involved. First choose the victim wallet that you need to find private key. In my side, I choose 2287 BTC wallet dormant address. I recommend you to choose dormant wallet address in order to avoid any issue while hacking. Second, we need to find reused R value should be shown good public key. If it is shown at your end, you can proceed to next step. Third, we need to find R, S and Z value from raw transaction. Search Bitcoin CLI client in your web browser and copy the outgoing transaction ID and paste into the Bitcoin CLI client page to get the raw transaction ID of both outgoing transaction. Copy the both transaction raw transaction ID in your notepad. Now, open the purchased folder. Edit R, S and Z file from RawTX as per shown in the video. Once you edit it, then click enter to see the R, S and Z value of one transaction ID. Let you copy those value and paste it in notepad and name it as R1, S1 and Z1. Do same for the second outgoing transaction id to get R2, S2 and Z2. Fourth step, we need to find SIG script S1 and S2 for the both outgoing transaction. Open Blockchair and paste the two outgoing transaction IDs to find the SIG script values. When you find it, paste it on Notepad with the name of S1 and S2. Note, you should always take SCRIPTSIG, ASM, which is start with 3. Do same as shown in the video. Now, you have all the value like me. Final step, open purchased folder and right click. RSZ to WIF private key and edit with Notepad++. Now replace all the value as shown in the video. Once you done editing then click save. Double click the edited R, S, Z file to WIF private key to get all the private keys. You can now find your victim wallet address and near you can see the private key. Copy it and paste it on Electrum import wallet private key section. Now, it's successfully imported. You can spend now to anywhere this hack BTC. If you can't recognize the victim BTC wallet, then copy all the private key shown in terminal and paste it on Electrum import wallet section to get the victim BTC. That's all, you have the BTC now. Thanks for watching.